for the area in which you're irrigating. Um, you have to know how much water to replace before you can create a schedule. To the right of ETO location, click on the um, button to open the ETO database. We have historical data for most of the states in the United States. You can add new areas and new locations. So if you needed to add a new area, there's a button up here with a, a green plus sign. This will add a new area. Now you can give this area a name. Now inside this area we can add new locations as well. There's a button for adding new locations. I click on that button. It'll add a new location and I can enter the name there. Now clicking on this area I can start entering ET rates for each month of the year. If I have an existing location like Texas I can add more areas to Texas or I can pick any particular location, I can change the values here and update this information to make it more accurate if I have better information. Once I've entered all this information, I can click on the OK button and accept the ETO rates for that area. That's all there is to select an ETO and I'm ready to go. I can click on the Save button and save all this information as well.